Okay, welcome to part three of our Microbit coding course. So for this part, we're going to be looking at uh, lighting in lots of different ways. So all different kinds of LED lighting that we can use with Microbit, and we're going to explore a few of those um, within this and, and, and look at how we can use them. So uh, we'll start with some basics. So here we have just a bag of... Um, single LEDs just here. So we're going to start with this blue one and we're going to connect that to the micro bit and get it to light up. So first thing I'm going to do is just to connect my micro bit to the computer and start a new project here. Okay. So for this program, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to connect the LED. Let me do this first. Okay, so each leg I'm going to connect up. Now how we're going to connect these is that we're going to put one leg to the zero pin and one leg to ground, which is the end one. Now this is going to create a circuit so that we can send power out from pin one, uh, pin zero, sorry, it's going to come around through the LED, light it up and then back round again. Now that will work great, but I need to tell the micro bit to actually send that power out of pin zero. So we're going to have it just on two buttons. So we're just going to use button A and button B just here. Okay, and how we do this, there's not uh, one here that says turn on LED. Even there's a section for LED here. That's the LED display on the front of the micro bit. That's not going to help us. So we go to pins. And what we want to do is we want to use this one. Now what this means when it says digital right pin zero, so that's the right pin, we could choose a different pin if we wanted, pin zero, two, and to turn that on and to send power out of there, we press one. Okay, so turn that pin on. And then I'm just gonna click with two fingers or right click here and duplicate this, drop it in here, and I'm gonna say, okay. So when we press button B, turn that off, turn it back to zero. Okay, so um, you're not going to see a lot on your simulator when you do this. It will show something. Like if I press A, look, it's just lit up pin zero to say that it's on. Uh, and if I press B, it turns it off. But it's not going to show you because it doesn't know what you've got connected here. Could be any component here that you can power. Could be a motor. Um, so we're going to do that now. I'm just going to check I am paired to my micro bit. So we went through this in part two just to make sure. That you are paired okay and then when you're paired to it we're going to press download to copy this code over to the micro bit download completed okay now mine's not doing anything when i press the button now if that happens then it might be that you've got your led the wrong way around they only work one way around on here There we go, that works great. So we press button B, it goes off, button A, it switches on. Okay, so we've created a very simple little flashlight here just, um, just with a single LED that can be turned on and off. And obviously we can come off the computer now, if we wish. We can put this onto a battery pack, just reconnect my leg. Okay, and connected to our battery pack now, we've now got, let me take away the USB cable. So now we've got the whole thing able to be used on a battery pack, which is great. So um, obviously that works fine for a single LED. What we could actually do here is to use uh, some slightly different things here. So here we have a string of LEDs. Now, these uh, are very cheap, so we buy a lot of these um, for student projects. And these ones, obviously, this one already has an on and off switch. I'm actually going to be coding this, but you could use it in a more advanced way with the micro bit and have it flash and things. I'll show you that in a minute. Um, so, okay, so this one switches on and off. So what I can do with this 
is I'm just going to chop off the battery pack. Open these up and just strip the wires. Okay, so now what we can do with this is we could actually replace our single LED with these now. And again, it'll only work one way around. So if I get this the wrong way around, it won't work. Much like that. There we go. Okay, so we can see that this is lit up. It's a little bit dim. I think my batteries could do with replacing it in here. Also, you can shorten these. These are actually cuttable, so I could actually cut it at any point, and it will probably be a little brighter if I do that. But now I can turn this one on and off very easily. Um, but I could do that on the switch anyway that was with it. So maybe I want to just do in my program um, something a little different. So what we're going to have is we're going to have it simply when we press A, it is going to do a little bit of a flash here. So let's put that in there. So it's going to turn on, wait for one tenth of a second. So that's a hundred milliseconds. That's one tenth of a second. It's going to wait for that. Then it's going to switch it off. Then it's going to wait again. And I'm going to repeat this. Uh, even better, why don't we just put it in a loop and just say repeat four times this. Okay, so when we press A now, it's going to four times repeat doing that. So let me just copy that code over to the micro bit. Let's see if we need to pair again. Sometimes you do need to pair again, sometimes not. No, it's already paired, so that's okay. Let's click download now. Okay, so now when we press A, it does that flash, and it obviously switches itself off because the last thing in the in the instructions was off. Okay, so these are some of the things we can do with kind of basic LEDs, um, and depending on um, what kind of um, breakout boards you might have on your micro bits it might be that you use things like this so this is actually exactly the same as just the single led um, but it goes with this little kit here this basic bit kit and we just plug it in on here and we can see that that one is then pin zero but the code is exactly the same and you do it in exactly way same way but pin zero is just a little easier for the students to connect if you're using one of these breakout boards like this um, so that's those bits. Um, why don't we connect a button to this, an external button like this, to make it do something. So um, for this one, what I'm going to do, you can just crocodile clip wire onto these legs of these arcade buttons, but we happen to have some proper wires for doing this. So, okay, so the way this switch and, and a lot of other sort of push to make switches will work is that when they're pushed in, it's going to complete the circuit, and when you let go, it's going to break that circuit. So what I can do with this then, I'm just going to drop a couple of little jumper wires in the end. Okay, so now I'm going to crocodile clip this to the micro bit as well. So we'll put this one onto pin one. So one part of this, I really should clean my space here, shouldn't I? Let's, uh, we'll leave the strip on here. Yeah, not bother with these ones now. Okay, so that one I want to go to ground, and this side of it I want to go to pin one this time. Okay, so what we can see now, let's have a look at what we've got here, because again, it's a bit of a mess. So we've got a button which is connected to pin 1 and ground. We've got a string of LEDs that's connected to pin 0 and ground. So what I want to be able to do is press this 
and make that happen. But it's not working at the moment because if I look in my thing, it's looking for button A to be pressed, which is this one. Um, so I'm going to take that out of there. And instead of using that, I'm going to do on pin one is pressed, do this. So that means anything that is connected to pin one when that is pressed, switched on, so really it's meant for switches or buttons, then it's going to do this, okay? And that's going to run through the same program. So let's download that to the micro bit. Okay, download complete. So now in theory, when we press this one, okay, why would we want to do this? Because you might well want the micro bit built inside something that you're using and you might want uh, bigger, more visible buttons for whatever it is that you want to happen. So this is just the same as we will look at in the movement video when we look at moving servos and things like that on buttons. But it's exactly the same way of doing it that we just connect it to a pin. And when that pin is pressed, so the button is pressed, then it's going to do stuff. Okay, so... Uh, I think we might wrap up part one of part three. Does that make sense? <laughs> three A, I guess. So um, we've done sort of basic LEDs in here. So how to do single LEDs, LED strips, how to turn them on and off with these things, how to connect an external button to be able to do it, how to make them flash. Now, in the second part of this lighting one, I'm going to look at programmable LEDs, so ones that we can program to be different colors or patterns and things like that. Um, but we will look at that uh, in the next part because this one's getting quite long.